Hi friends, in most of our household kitchens, electric chimney is a very common appliance. The only regular maintenance it requires is to clean its baffle filters as they regularly gets oily. They needs to be cleaned periodically for efficient working of the chimney. Without use of any special chemicals, we can clean these filters and chimney ourselves. In this video, we will see how easy it is to clean the chimney. Before this, I request you to subscribe our channel A1 Help if you have not yet subscribed. Also click the bell icon for notifications of forthcoming videos on our channel. We will be regularly uploading useful videos of common interest. These filters seems to be very dirty and oily. We should give a support to the filter with our other hand to avoid filters from falling down. To remove these filters, let's pull down the latch clip. Now pull the filters downwards and shake it. Filters should come out easily. This chimney is of Elica make. In case your chimney is of some other make, the procedure for opening the filter may vary. You can refer to the instruction manual of the chimney for the procedure to remove the filters. Let's see how we can clean these dirty filters. Let's take a container like tub or a tray of the size large enough to dip these filters. Let's zoom and see how dirty this filter is. Now let's pour 4 to 5 spoons of strong detergent powder inside the tub. Let's keep the filter inside the tub. Let's pour some more detergent powder over the filter. Next, let's pour hot water over the filter. Hotter the water, better the cleaning. Let's shake and mix detergent and water. Let's leave the filter in the solution for around half an hour. To clean the filters, we need a hard bristle brush similar to this. We also need a hard bristle toothbrush or a small brush to clean the filter grooves. In case if the filters are very oily and with detergent also it's difficult to clean, we can use caustic soda instead of detergent. The chemical name of caustic soda is sodium hydroxide and should be available in hardware stores. Caustic soda is corrosive so should be handled carefully. Half an hour is over and now let's clean the filter. Let's scrub the filter with the brush. Next, using toothbrush, let's scrub inside the grooves. I was mentioning about caustic soda. Since caustic soda is corrosive, it's advised not to handle caustic soda with bare hands, especially with wet hands. It should not come in contact with the skin. So always use hand gloves to handle it or else your skin will get burnt. If you are using caustic soda, take a large container, otherwise on pouring hot water, the caustic soda solution will boil and can come out of the container. 
The solution can spill on the slab or floor and can corrode them. The chemical reaction between caustic soda and water is exothermic and generates lot of heat. So caustic soda should be stored in a airtight container and also should be kept away from children and pets. Make sure that it does not get exposed to moisture. After scrubbing, let's wash the filter under running water. Now the filter seems to be clean. Let's keep it for drying. Remember that we should not fix back the filters when they are wet. Wait till they are completely dry. Let's zoom and inspect. Even inside the grooves, the filter is clean and shining. In the meantime, let's clean the chimney. Let's take a sponge dipped in a detergent solution and scrub the dirty metallic portion of the chimney. Now let's take a wet sponge and clean the same to remove the detergent. There is a confusion about after how much time these filters should be cleaned. Different people have different opinion. What I personally feel is it all depends upon individual's cooking pattern. If we cook more oily foods, obviously the chimney will get dirty faster and we need to clean them more often. So better is to have a periodical checks. The moment we feel that our filters are dirty, we can clean them. We should keep our chimney clean, otherwise its performance and efficiency will go down. Now let's fix the filters back. Sorry, I forgot to tell you how to fix the filter back. First of all, let's slide back the back portion of the filter inside the groove of the chimney. Next, let's pull back the latch clip out and push the front portion of the filter up till it sits in its place. Then slowly leave the latch clip and close it. We can see that the filter is fixed in its place. Filters and chimney are cleaned and shining. Now I will tell you a useful tip. Sometimes during cooking, food gets burnt inside the utensil and it is difficult to clean the utensil with the normal cleaning procedure. For this, there is a simple solution. Pour a spoon of caustic soda in the burnt vessel, put a small quantity of water and boil it for 2 minutes. Leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Since the burnt food is released from the utensil due to the reaction of caustic soda, the utensil can be cleaned with the normal scrubber easily. Do not put more water because it might spill out and damage the stove or slab. I will like to mention it once again, please remember not to touch caustic soda with bare hands, especially with wet hands. Also do not use caustic soda to clean aluminium utensils. Caustic soda reacts with aluminium and might spoil your aluminium utensil, so be careful. This tip is useful only for stainless steel utensils. Let's conclude this video here.
If you have liked my efforts and contents of the video, I request you to hit the thumbs up icon. It will encourage me to upload more videos. If you have not yet subscribed our channel, please do subscribe our channel A1 Help. Please also hit the bell icon to get notifications of our forthcoming videos. For any query or suggestions, please leave a message in the comment box. Let's meet again in our next video. Thanks for watching till end. Bye.